Hello there. Today I just want to give you a little bit of information on one of these generators here. I've had this generator for quite a few years. Um, it's a 1850 watt peak output, 1500 watt continuous. And um, I've done a video about three years ago on uh, a waveform of an inverter. And what we're going to do is put the check the waveform output of uh, your typical inexpensive generators. Uh, and they're pretty close to a sine wave, but it's not a smooth sine wave, which I will show you. But for most applications, it should be okay. Sensitive electronic equipment, um, like a computer or something of that nature, or a high definition television, uh, may have a problem running on these. Uh, Things like air conditioners, well, this particular one probably won't run an air conditioner. It might run a 5000 BTU, but I wouldn't try it on anything heavier than that. Um, but let's just give you some rundowns on it. Now, I've got uh, gas in here that's uh, uh, quite a few months old, but I got stable in it. Uh, it's an additive. It's called STI-BLE. Uh, -E. uh, stable. It uh, keeps the gas you know, lasting longer. Let me give you a rundown on what I did here, and uh, we'll see if we can get this thing started. I have not started this thing in quite a while, so uh, let's do it. The first thing you want to do is to turn the uh, petcock on for the gas. Now, uh, what I had done here um, shortly after I got the generator is I added a gas filter in addition to the petcock was already there but I added a gas filter. There is a gas filter or was a gas filter in the tank. It's a little vertical screen about a quarter inch in diameter and about an inch high or so. Well it fell off so um, it's impossible to get back on so what I did is I added a gas filter right here. I don't know if you can notice it back here but it's right here. Okay added it in there. This petcock was here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attempt to start this. There was a gas filter in the gas tank. Okay. But the problem is it fell off. And I had to fish it out of the tank. What we're going to first do here turn the switch on. There's a switch on the side over here. Turn the gas on. Give it a little time to go into the carburetor. And we're going to turn it a little bit here. This is the switch over here. If you can see that. Alright, we're going to pull it. First we're going to do, we got to set the choke. It's been a while since I used it. Focus to the right. Here we go. Full choke right now. Might have the switch in the wrong position. Let's try it again. I had to switch off. I had it, uh, the ignition shorted out. That's what that little switch is on the side here. Okay, there she is. Reading about 130 to 131 volts with no load. These things here are not very accurate with the voltage output. The more expensive ones, yes, but not the cheaper ones. Well, this wasn't cheap. When I was working, I uh, bought this, it had to be, uh, I don't know, eight or nine years ago, about 400 bucks. To me, that's a lot of money. But anyways, we're going to put a load on this, and when you do, you're going to see the, uh, the voltage go down. So I'm going to try to fix this camera so that you can see the meter without me holding the meter. First thing I'm going to do is plug this uh, chop saw in.
Now, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about generators and so forth. Most of the uh, fellows that are load testing generators are only running the skill saws or whatever with no load. In other words, not cutting wood. That's the real acid test, is to actually have the saw doing work. That will tell you whether the generator will handle it or not. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. But what I have to do is to focus this camera on the meter. So I'm going to try to try to get that and try to get the chop saw in there at the same time. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the meter at all, other you know the uh, display. If not, I'm going to have to zoom in on the meter. But I got a two by four here. That's a good test for this thing. You'll probably hear the generator cut down and even vibe and shake a little bit. Okay, I don't know if the meter picked, if the camera picked that up or not. I'm going to play this video back and see if I can see the meter display. If not, I'll I'll zoom in on the meter and you won't be able to see me cutting the wood, but you'll hear it. Alright, I, I hope this thing's in focus. This is about as close as I can get now without putting blocks and everything underneath the um, meter. we got to do one more cut because I can't tell if this is showing up on the video or not. It might be. And I won't know until I put it through the computer. And my eyesight ain't too good even looking with a magnifying glass on the LCD display of the camera. We'll do one more cut here. Okay. Let's hope that that comes out. We'll, uh, we'll stop this video at this time, and the next phase of test will be with the oscilloscope. Okay, now I am going to hook up the oscilloscope to this. Now, I'm going to just show you the display, because i got to hold the scope and uh, hold the camera all at the same time. So Here's what I got for a scope, and I've shown you this before. This is my NLS, Nonlinear Systems 2-inch oscilloscope. This is the scope I used when I demonstrated the waveform of an inverter, the video I made two or three years ago. It's the only oscilloscope I have here. All the other stuff is in storage. I charged the battery a couple days ago. Hopefully it'll still be good. That looks like it is. Okay. We're going to get the probes out. Anyone that has a scope like this, these use a 14 volt AC adapter, not a DC. There's 14 volts AC output on these. So if you ever get one that doesn't have the adapter so you can charge up the battery or run the scope, you'll need a 14 volt AC adapter. Get the probes now and I'll come back on this video and we're ready to hook it to the generator. Well I got an old cord here from an old electric drill. Whenever something craps out and can't be fixed I just take the cords and cut them off. So we're going to strip out this so that uh, we'll have access to the conductors. We put the scope uh, probe on it. We got the scope set for AC input. So we take the black. There's only a black and a, a white wire, the white being neutral of course. And we'll strip these out and we'll put the probe on it. We'll be back on this video and two shakes of a coon's tail. This is going to be a little noisy so I'm not even going to 
do any commentary because I have to go close to the generator in order to get a firm spot where I can put the scope without having the sun hit the screen and drown it out. I can't get the scope to cooperate with me. It won't give me a full cycle. So I don't think the scope is working all that good, but there's your um, waveform. And as you can see, it's not a smooth waveform. It's a raggedy sine wave. And a lot of these generators will put out a raggedy sine wave. For the most part, I think things would work okay on it, but I would kind of be leery about it. In addition to that, the motor speed governs the output as far as the cycles per second. You want to be able to be coming out with 60 cycles a second. If your motor's going too fast, it'll put out more voltage, but it'll also put out more cycles per second, and vice versa. So these things have a governor in them, and it sounds like it's running at about the right speed, but it is putting out a little bit of a little bit more voltage than it should be for unloaded conditions. Well, here's the uh, sine wave as it's plugged in to the uh, outlet and not the generator. But for some reason, I can't get this damn thing to read down to uh, one cycle. But I'm not going to screw around with it. I think, I know these scopes are noted for having bad switches in here, so I'm suspecting that the switches are bad and I have to have them cleaned and so forth. Um, that's about all I can say about that. But there's your sine wave for the line voltage, and you've seen the one for the generator. That concludes this test. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming by. You have a good day.